pretty good. It, the race felt really relaxed and I started out extremely conservative um, and it worked out. Preparing for the race, I didn't really, I guess, make a plan. I just wanted to race it and go as I felt. Based on uh, seeing how everybody finished, I would say team-wise we did everything we needed to do and individually uh, I was happy with my time. Um, I'm further ahead today than I was last year, so that's definitely a positive. You know, on the women's side, you know, Mariel Hall, uh, Megan Siebert, Brittany Marches all had a solid day. This was Mariel Hall's first time out of the gate and, you know, rust buster. And sometimes when you do that, it's tough to come out and just uh, start throwing down fast time. So uh, this was a great tune-up, a prep race for Wisconsin. Craig really stepped up today. Uh, he ran by himself for most of the race, uh, but he handled it effectively. I mean, he really managed the race well throughout the parts. Uh, he looked strong finishing up. Uh, Mark Pinales had a nice race. Eduardo uh, Rodriguez really stepped up for us uh, to help us out in that third spot. So for the most part, really a uh, nice day, a good home meet for us, a good start uh, with the home meet. Now we go to Wisconsin and really uh, try to establish ourselves as a uh, top 10 team. We've got a nice three week gap between now and our next race. It's going to be, uh, this was definitely a good you know, check to see where my base is. Uh, we'll start doing some harder workouts over the next month and we'll uh, go up to Wisconsin and take on a field of ba basically the teams that we're going to race at Nationals. Uh, the next three weeks we'll have a strength week this week and then we'll uh, start trying to sharpen up because right after that it's two weeks uh, Big 12. So uh, we want to race really well at Wisconsin but we also want to keep Nationals in mind and region and conference and uh, the championship part of the season.